Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we are going to be going over how to block your tight end in the Gun Bunch formations in Madden 23. Now, they tried their best to absolutely nerf Gun Bunch, and they did a very good job, actually. Um, a lot of the routes that are in these playbooks are just kind of iffy, non-existent, very, very difficult to actually run anything in this. But today, we have how to block in gun bunch and you can use this specific technique to uh block tight ends in other formations where you're not uh, you're not allowed to and yeah this is going to be a big help now there are two ways to block your tight end in gun bunch i'll go over it you know, a couple times for those of you guys who are you know newer to the game and still want to run gun bunch uh but on the defensive side we're just going to call cover for a drop and on the offensive side it does not matter what play we call now is there any play that actually has your tight end like blocking okay we have a we have a check and release route with the pa dick fork um other than that doesn't seem like there is so we're just gonna call we're just gonna call it verts we all love verts we all know and love it now if you guys look at the hot routes on your wide receivers it will say wide receiver hot routes if you guys look at the wider the hot routes on the running back it'll say rb hot routes if you guys are looking at the bottom right it brings up the rb hot routes um, for the tight end, I'm going to bring up the tight end ones and it still says wide receiver hot routes. They completely took out the ability to block that tight end. Now there are ways around it and that's what we're going to be going over today. And the first way that I'm going to show you guys is motioning in that tight end. So you got your verts. We're going to motion in the tight end. And as you can see, he actually backs up to where he's actually in a pretty decent blocking animation uh he actually didn't block anyone there um so one tip that i do want to show you guys when it comes to blocking that tight end is double team the side where the tight end is on and i know this sounds weird but if you double team that guy that tight end will actually for, like kind of force his way into the block okay and he'll end up helping on that block as you can see he's there double teams him and as you can see he starts literally trying to make out with him just mauls him to the ground pretty much um i'm actually gonna show the replay on that so the first time he literally did not get into the play but because we double teamed this guy that tight end focused on that outside lineman if you leave a lineman on with a tight end that lineman is going to completely just bum rush that tight end and pretty much get to your quarterback almost instantly. It's going to feel like a nano and it's going to be very, very frustrating. So that is something that you guys are going to want to do if you guys are trying to block your tight end. And the way that you double team, if you guys do not know, is you press L1. It brings up the pass protection. Then you press the right stick down. It brings up the double team. And then as you can see, you hover over wherever you want the, the tight end to double team. The double the tight ends cannot block by themselves i say that one more time tight ends cannot block by themselves so you motion him in you click on him oh and that that and that time he didn't even help that's how again they're the blocking is bad but there are people that still want to now there's another way that you guys can block your tight end in this gun bunch formation because i know if you guys are running gun bunch you guys can you guys want to motion your your player out to try to get a nice little route going and that was just a horrible route i wanted to see if if that would actually work because it might it might it might have made gun bunch a little useful but it didn't so again when you're a gun bunch you want to motion guys out you want to motion guys in you want to you want to be able to pretty much do your thing when it comes to these to these routes and the the ability to block the tight end will would, would help that a lot now the only other way that i figured out how to block your tight end is to motion him over now when you motion him over it brings up his hot routes as tight end routes okay now once you do that you might want to move him back over now the problem with that is now he's back to being a wide receiver which puts him back in a hitch route okay so again if you want to block your tight end you can leave him here and block him and then kind of keep your routes going as they are but if you don't want to do that the only other way to make sure that your tight end is blocking once he goes back to the wide receiver side is you have to max protect. So when you max protect and move him over, he stays in his blocking assignment and he's now back into his original spot. Now to max protect, it's L1. And then as you can see on the bottom right, you move your right stick up 
to max protect now that what max protecting is going to do it's going to block all your linemen it's going to block all your running backs all your tight ends whoever is close to the line and is can, can be considered a blocker they will be blocking so again he is back to being a blocker when it comes to this now even if you just reset the play and max protect while he's on that right side on that bunch side he's not going to max protect you have to motion him over and max protect once you do that you're good to go to, mo to move him right back over and he stays in his blocking assignment if you flip your play he's going right back into into a route okay so you need to make sure that once you motion them over and max protect that is what you want to do that like you're locked in on that being what you want to do and then you motion him back over and now all of a sudden now that he's in his original spot you can now motion this guy over you can sit there and put him on a on a, on a drag and then motion him over so you got a nice little nice little combination of plays or routes that that aren't that aren't interfering with each other and as you can see the nice little blocking is done Matthew Stafford's throwing animation is completely god awful, but as you can see, it's working. It's a very, very good way to do it. Now I'm actually gonna call timeout and I'm gonna flip the I'm gonna flip sides. I'm gonna flip sides because I want to see the gun bunch that the Bills have, if if they have one, uh, so that I can showcase that in another in a different in a different in a different variation of bunch because you guys might not think. Wow, his throwing animation is terrible. Uh, you guys might not think that like it, it'll work in a different ver variation of bunch, but it does. It works in any formation that you are struggling to block the tight end. And I don't even know if they have a bunch. They have regular bunch, and this is perfect. Perfect example. So we're just going to call mesh spot. Boom. And then on the defensive side, we're just going to call whatever. So now we got josh allen at quarterback and again you press x it brings up the wide receiver hot routes that's the tight end again so you have to take that guy motion him over max protect and then you can and then you guys can quickly motion him right back over that is how you block your tight end in a bunch either that or you could just motion him over and hike and again josh allen nice little laser so for those of you guys that are still looking to run gun bunch this this could still be a year for you guys to capitalize on that because it, it's not too bad it's not too bad of a formation uh but obviously having a having a motion that guy over is it's kind of it's kind of iffy but hey if you guys are looking to run gun bunch and want to be effective in it then this is the only only way that i have found out to do it if you guys know of a different way please leave it down in the comment section below don't leave me out of the loop because i'm curious myself as to if there's an easier way to do so because i know a lot of people that run gun bunch they want to sit there and they want to flip their play and all that other and, other, and, and all that other type, type of stuff but unfortunately once you flip your play uh you can't quick hike and that's one of the big things about gun bunch that made it such a good formation is the ability to quick hike hopefully this video helps you guys out if you guys are looking to run gun bunch my name is Pony montana i will see you guys in the next video as always two fingers deuces and peace out you guys